Hi, Chad here from Purple Collar Life. On my way, headed over to the big building. Got the tripod here. Something pretty exciting in here to tell you about. Even Olive is super excited about this one. This is the secret that I've had to keep for a couple weeks. This is my brand new 2020 Toro time cutter with the 60 inch fabricated deck. There's just so much about this mower that I'm excited about and I can't wait to talk to you about it. Now I haven't even mowed with this yet. I've only had it for a few days. I've been super busy with work and haven't had a chance to go out and play. I did take it on a quick test ride around the yard. I've never owned a zero turn mower before, so for me just driving one was a new experience. Now I need to say up front, this is not a sponsored video, but Toro did provide me with this mower to do this review. One of the things I really like about this Toro Zero Turn. These very wide front dolly wheels. Now you've seen my front yard before if you watched the John Deere mowing video or the John Deere 2210 review video. I'll post those links up above. But you know that my yard is not the smoothest. It's pretty rough. It's pretty wet in the very early springtime. And I'm positive that these wider tires that this Toro Zero Turn has will be a huge benefit when it comes to those bumpy ruts in the yard. I also like this step platform to easily get on and off of the zero turn. There's a gritty material here, no slip material. So that's gonna be great for getting on and off. It alleviates the issue of having to try to step over top of the deck or step on the deck. And I'm just amazed at how shiny and pretty this machine is right now. Surely it'll probably not look like that for long. Now I did a lot of research on this machine on YouTube, on forums, on the web, and I've seen comments both ways about these new cast aluminum parts. Now I understand according to some people that these are here for the customer's benefit. That if you hit something with that front dolly wheel and this cast aluminum piece would break, it's easily removed and replaced. Whereas if it were a solid piece, then that would require bending part of the, the frame of the zero turn. I don't know exactly what the reasoning for Toro doing this was, but I don't mind these aluminum parts. I actually kind of like the look of it. You'll notice my Toro does not have the MyRide system. Now there are some models that have the MyRide suspension seat system that takes this entire platform and puts it on a suspension so that as you go over bumps, it smooths the ride for you. This particular model does not, because it does have the 60 inch forged iron deck. And in this series of time cutter, you cannot get the 60 inch deck with the MyRide seat. And I don't think that's gonna be a big deal. Like I said, I haven't mowed with it yet, so I guess yet to be determined whether or not I'm missing out on that MyRide seat. It does have this nice rubber mat here for some dampening under your feet but most of the time I think my feet will be up on these platforms. There is some storage here and they even put a sticker on it. Boat in storage because why not? Next I want to talk to you about this smart speed control system. I'll be right up front. When I first read about this and saw it I thought that's kind of something that's a little silly. I'll probably never use it. I imagine that most people just put this thing in fast rabbit mode and they mow away because after all, you use the hand controls to slow down, right? So why would you need further adjustment on the speed? Well, I was certainly wrong about that. I can tell you that bringing this mower home from Fisher and Father, I quickly found that the turtle mode was where I needed to be to get this thing out of my six by 12 trailer. With the mower chute flap pulled up, 
The deck just barely fits between the entrance gate of my 6x12 trailer. So being in slow turtle mode was exactly perfect for me to get this out of the trailer without scraping up the sides of the trailer or the mower. I also used the turtle mode in my drive around the yard earlier. Because like I said, I've never owned a zero turn before and I thought it was gonna be easier than it actually is to start driving. But again, this is a great smart speed control system that I thought I would not use. I can tell you right now it is beneficial and I am so glad that this model has it. I imagine that I will actually start mowing in the turtle mode. I will probably continue using the turtle mode even as an experienced driver whenever I'm going around cemetery marker stones because we do mow a cemetery that we'll be using this mower for around trees in our yard or any uneven terrain. It also has what they show as a tow mode and I don't plan on doing any towing with this but this middle speed will be perfect as I learn the mower further and I want to go beyond the turtle speed to the tow speed. And finally, once I'm an experienced driver and more confident, I'm certain that I will want to be in the rabbit mode for the long straight stretches of the yard or the field as I'm mowing. But for now, as an amateur and a newbie, turtle mode's where I'll be. The next thing I want to talk to you about is the deck height adjustment. And I really like this system as I did my research. I was watching a lot of videos on zero turn mowers from a lot of brands. And this was my favorite height adjustment system. Now you use a foot pedal to lift the deck, pull the pin, and simply put the pin in whatever height you want to be. So let's say I wanted to mow at three inches. Put the pin in the three inch slot, let the foot pedal down, and the height stops at three inches. Now, just like on my John Deere, these are probably not exact measurements, these are just more of a guideline to give you an idea, but I like this system better than a turn knob, better than an adjustment here. So again, foot pedal to lift, pull the pin, choose your height. This mower does have half inch height increments from one inch to four inches, to four and a half inches actually. I typically mow our lawn at somewhere around three and a half or four inches. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the four inch spot. As we work our way around this zero turn, the next thing I want to talk to you about is the parking brake. Now this was something I didn't read much about in the forums and didn't know much about before having this tractor and before Shane out at Fisher and Father explained it to me. I always wondered how the zero turns stay in place. Well, there's a parking brake built into the control. So if I pull the arms in, and turn the key to the on position, you heard the brakes release. But as soon as I move these over to what is labeled on this label as park, you hear those parking brakes re-engage and the zero turn is stable and has a brake on. Again, if I move these in, you hear the brakes disengage, if I put them out, you hear the brakes engage. It's pretty neat. Now let's talk about the control cluster here. Very simple, easy to use, not confusing. There's the ignition key, power takeoff, choke, and throttle. Now you'll see the throttle is up in the rabbit zone, which is not where I would typically shut a piece of equipment off. But there's this note this says, shut down engine at full throttle, which is the first time I've ever read something like that before. Typically on any lawn mower or tractor that I've ever owned, I would take the throttle all the way down before turning off the machine. But on this Toro, they want you to leave it at full throttle when you shut the machine off. Let's go ahead and start this up and see how it sounds. I'm going to give it a little choke. Sounds good. Now this mower has 0.7 hours on it, 
When I picked it up, I think it had 0.5 from the dealership, and I put 0.2 on just driving around in the yard, learning how the controls work. Next, let's talk about that seat. So far in my limited time on this machine, the seat's comfortable. I like the armrests. There's an armrest on each side. And even though it's not the MyRide system, it does have some tall springs on the back to absorb some of that shock. So we'll see, like I said, after I mow with it, I can give you more detail, but for now, looks good. There is a storage cubby behind the controls. You can see the back tires. They're not huge, but they're not tiny. I've seen zero turn mowers with much smaller rear tires. And again, I've seen zero turn mowers with much larger rear tires. As far as the width, I think they'll be okay. Part of me right now wishes they were a little bit wider and a little bit taller. But like I said, haven't mowed with it yet. And we'll see how it does. These tires are a 20 by 10, 10 non-highway service tire. Next, let's talk about the muscle of the machine here. Toro put their own motor on this machine. It's a commercial V-twin, 24 and a half horsepower, overhead valve engine. There's a couple things about this engine I really like. I like about this Toro engine the easy oil change. The oil drain hose here on the side is easily removed for quick and clean oil changes. And I love that because you know I like to change the oil in my own equipment. And this is going to make it so much cleaner just pulling that hose off, draining it into a pan. And then to reinstall it, just reinstall it in these holders, push the hose up onto the nipple end there and you're good to go. This is the oil fill and dipstick. And here is the air filter. Easy to get to, really easy to remove. It's a two-stage filter with a felt outside and then the pleated cartridge inside. Easy to put back in. To pull it out, I just pulled from the top and it came right out, put it in, I just reversed that process. So far, I'm impressed with this engine. There is a towing hitch here. I don't think I'm ever gonna be using this to tow something, but it is good for someone who needs to tow a little cart around. On this left side fender, you've got your fuel fill. Easy to get to, you don't have to lean over things to fill it, and I like that large spout. Those new gas cans are difficult to use in the first place, and this large spout gives you a lot more space to work with. And it does specify to avoid the ethanol fuel. This is a carbureted engine. It says no E85, no E15. I'm gonna be running no ethanol at all in this mower. Here's another storage cubby and a cup holder. This time cutter does have the deck wash system and that system is actually on both sides of the deck. You just remove this piece and move it from one side to the other. Like I said, my time cutter does have the 60 inch iron forged mower deck. This is a 10 gauge steel deck and I also like that it's got this reinforced rail the entire way around the sides, the front and the back does have a dolly wheel on each side and in the center and those wheels are adjustable. Toro even goes so far to show you which mounting hole on the dolly wheel bracket to use for different grass heights. The belt cover on the deck does show that it's not a step, do not step there. Again with this non-slip step in the front there's really no reason to get on this zero turn from anywhere other than the front. The time cutter does have a fuel level indicator. Might be a little bit difficult to see on the camera, but in person I can clearly see that I'm about at a half a tank. This Toro time cutter with the 60 inch deck comes with the heavy duty 
hydraulic transmission. This is the heaviest transmission available in the residential time cutter series. So like I said, I haven't mowed with this yet, but I'm certainly excited to. And you'll be seeing mowing videos pretty soon with this machine. Some of the things I really like about this are things that you'd really only find in most commercial models. I love that drop pin height adjustment. I love the 60 inch 10 gauge steel deck, the really wide front dolly wheels and tires, the wide rear tires. A lot of the zero turns you see in this price range do not come with an hour meter. And I really like to have an hour meter on my equipment because like I said, I like to maintain the equipment myself. So that helps with oil changes, keeping track of when I need to sharpen blades, air filter changes. So there it is, my 2020 time cutter with a 60 inch deck. Please click that subscribe button. Don't forget about our milestone giveaways. We're giving away Amazon gift cards when we reach 250 and 500 subscribers and the Blackstone Griddle when we reach 1,000 subscribers.